Once your categories and grade calculations are set up, you're ready to start adding assignments. First, select the class you want to work in using the class selector. In Power Teacher Pro, the default screen is the assignment list. In the assignment window, you can see the category of each assignment, the name of each assignment, how many have already been scored or graded, their due date, the out of points, and there's also an edit button if you ever need to go back and edit an assignment. Click the create button in the top right corner and select assignment. By default, your assignment will be created in your current class. If you'd like to add it to other classes, you can click on the Select Classes drop-down and select any other classes you'd like to add it to. Click off that window and you will see which classes will get this assignment. In the Assignment Name field, enter the title of your assignment. Select the category that this assignment belongs to. For score type, most people leave this as points, and then enter the total number of points for the assignment. If you allow for extra points or bonus points, click on the extra points button and enter the number of additional points. This will change the number of possible points or your maximum entry. If you ever want to wait your assignments, you can do so by clicking on the wait button and entering the factor you want to scale by. This is not used by most teachers, but is sometimes used to adjust class grades by making an assignment worth more or less, but not having to enter all the scores again. Some teachers also make everything out of 100 and then use the weighting scale to increase or decrease the impact of the assignment. I'm going to leave my score factor as one here, so I'm going to remove the weight. Decide if the assignment should account in the final grade or not. Virtually all assignments do, unless sometimes formative assessments are often not counted in final grades. Enter the due date of the assignment. It is important to note that for the assignment to be calculated as part of the semester work, the date must fall within the specific dates provided. As we get to the end of the semester, be particularly careful when entering final exam grades as the date will matter in calculating the final exam as 20% of the overall grade. You can change the due date by class, for instance, if you have classes that meet on different days, you can actually change that here by clicking on per class and then entering a different date for your other class. If you choose to, you can enter a description of the assignment in the description field, which can be visible in the student and parent portal. You can now add links in the description field as well. For example, you might want to add a link to an assignment sheet you have in Google Docs or a rubric. Click OK, and then click Save and Close to close your window. If you need to create another assignment, click Create. If you need to edit an assignment after it's been created, go to Grading, Assignment List, and that will return you to the window we are in right now. Then go and click the Edit button for the assignment you would like to edit. Here you can edit the points possible, the category, or anything else you need to. You can also duplicate it and add it to other sections, or you can duplicate a common assignment that you have in this class. You can also delete the assignment here. Now that you've seen how to add an assignment, continue to the next video to learn about entering scores.